In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to display this image inside a Blitzmax window. So, in order to do that, let's load up Blitzmax. So, we'll create a new application. So, we'll click on New. That creates a new editor window. And we'll zoom in a tad just to get it uh, zoomed in so we can see things. Uh, and hopefully, that's enough. And um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll create a, a just a very very simple application uh, just to display this this uh, image here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to tell Blitzmax to go into graphics mode, and that's fairly easy because all we do is just use the graphics command. But we need to tell it a couple of parameters. So we're going to tell it it's going to be 640 pixels along by 480 pixels down. Now we're going to create a local variable called sunflowers and that's going to store our image. So we're going to use that, that local variable to store the, the image that we load from disk. So we create local sunflowers and it's of type T image. Okay. So this is our, our local store called sunflowers and we're going to reserve enough memory to hold an image file. And to do that, we load, do load image. I mean, this file could be called anything, but we've called it sunflowers.jpg. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a while loop, and this is going to this is going to display the image on the screen, so long as the user hasn't pressed the escape key. And as soon as the user presses the escape key, the application quits. So to do that, we use the while keyword. Then we use not. And so what we're saying here is, while the user has not pressed the escape key, keep doing what's ever inside this loop here. Now, when we draw things, we actually draw things onto what's called a back buffer. Modern video cards have two unique areas of memory. They have a back buffer and a front buffer. And you flip between the two. You always draw to the back buffer, and then you flip and show what's on the front buffer. What you're seeing on screen just now is what's on the front buffer of your video card. So first things first, clear the back buffer. This isn't a necessary step but we'll, we'll put it in anyway because most of the time you do want to clear the back buffer. Then we want to draw something in the back buffer so we use draw image and draw images parameters we need to put in the image we're going to draw and where we're going to draw it. So we want to draw it in the top left hand corner of the screen which is 00. zero. Now that we've cleared the screen and drawn the image to the back buffer, we then need to bring it to the front buffer. So to do that, we use the flip keyword. And what flip does is, it exchanges the back buffer with the front buffer. So the next time round, we're drawing in the front buffer. Or what was the front buffer, I should say. Okay. So now what we do is, we'll save that. Save it as... And the flowers. And we'll save it as sunflowers. Save. Now we have our images there, and we can do run. And we now have a nice picture of our sunflowers on the screen inside a Blitzmax application. And that's pretty much it. Now I can press any key I want, but it's only when I press the escape key that it actually stops. Okay, so just to briefly recap, we put Blitzmax into graphics mode. We load an image using the load image command, and we specify a path to the image. Just so happens that we're in the same folder as this image, so we don't need to specify like C colon backslash or you know a Unix file path. We then create a while loop. We clear the back buffer. We draw in the back buffer, and then we flip the back buffer to show what we've just drawn in the back buffer. And that's pretty much all there is to, to drawing images in Blitzmax.